started a project initially um, where we did something called Four Week Shopping Local in Bearwood and we tried to sort of cajole some of the local butchers and greengrocers into providing um, either organic meat or just a, a wider range of fruit and veg. Um, and we didn't get much support in that, to be honest, from the high street. And so we looked for alternatives um, and we s decided we'd contact local farmers uh, and see if we could um, get a delivery to a, one of our houses on a regular basis. We found a fantastic farmer, Simon Cutter at Model Farm, who um, offered us an amazing discount uh, if we could get a few orders together and then he would deliver it once a week to our house. Um, our farmer raises the livestock, he, um, he slaughters the livestock and he produces, butchers it. And so it's just like everything is from one source, so there's hardly any food bars there. So even though the meat comes from Herefordshire and, uh, you know, and it travels up the motorway to Birmingham, um, it really has hardly any food bars because um, the food that you buy in the supermarket, if our farmer would sell to, let's say, Waitrose, he would have to get all his livestock up to somewhere in Yorkshire where it would be slaughtered and then distributed again. So it is really, um, you know, a much more direct way of shopping. Unlike meats, fruit and vegetable availability is totally dependent upon what's in season. You will never have a shortage of beetroot in your life ever again. Yeah, beetroot is always there. Um, it's like a, I have become a dab hand at turning parsnips into all sorts of things as well. And um, yeah, and you know, in the size of vegetables, I mean, we currently have a parsnip that's that long and that high so you know that can feed us probably for a whole week just that one parsnip so yeah you you get inventive so at the moment we're looking you know we're looking for um you know spring greens and purple sprouting broccoli and things like that so it's slowly slowly coming out of the root vegetable dip the farmer is in a cooperative himself in Herefordshire, so he supplies most of the produce, apart from the bread, which is baked by a local nurse. These are the veg bags that she talked about. It's been a particularly long winter, so there's a lot of root vegetables still. Um, this bag costs about £2 in value, and she talked about the size of the parsnips. As you can see, look, they're absolutely huge. It doesn't beat this one though, which is the biggest parsnip they've ever had. The week I was there, there were 35 orders out of 150 members. People tend to turn up early because whatever's left over, it's first come, first serve. In recent weeks, we have seen an upturn in membership. Um, and I couldn't say that was just because of the horse meat scandal, but I think people are looking for alternatives and they want to know where their food is produced. And it certainly looks more fun than the supermarkets for the kids too. Something that was overpowering was there was a real sense of community from this cooperative. It's about meeting your neighbour, you know, and it's doing something different. I think people come because it's fun, you get to have a chat, you know, you meet all sorts of different people that you wouldn't normally hang out with, say. And as well, I think that we also have stopped celebrating food and coming together to eat food. And it's more than just buying organic or buying local food. It's about celebrating your food together as a group, as a community. And food always brings people together and nourishes the community. Consider yourself at home. Consider yourself one of the family. I'm talking to you. So